Oh, hello. Good morning, good morning. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And I, I just want to say this right here is that um, I know last night was bad. And when I say last night, when I say last night for some, it was literally last night. But for, but, for, but for others, others, the test that you've been in, it's been nighttime. It's been nighttime for a long time. It's like everything, everything, um, everything that is connected to you, there's some darkness with it. There's some negativity with it. There's some suffering with it. There's some hurt with it. Something, there's something with it. There's something with it. And um, I just want to encourage you. Keep fighting, keep pressing, keep digging, keep reaching, keep keep crying out, keep letting God know. Keep letting God know where you are. Keep letting God know how you feel. Keep keep letting him know. Because 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 uh, uh, see, your nighttime, actually your nighttime is 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 your 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 cultivation. Your nighttime is where your growth is at. Your nighttime is is when when God is really working. See, because when when, when in you in your nighttime, that's when God can reveal His light. When you're in your nighttime, that's when God can expose some stuff. That's when God can reveal some stuff to you. And so and, and so, what God is doing, God is God is uh, God is allowing. God is allowing. Uh, and so that's why it seems like things have slowed down. God is allowing time. God is allowing time. Your understanding. Uh, 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 the understanding, the, the the appreciation. That's what it is. Some of you, one of the reasons why God hadn't moved yet because there's certain there's a, there's a certain amount of appreciation that He wants uh, you to have. And so until until you get to a place where you are appreciative uh, and get to a place where you're ready to receive what He has for you, see because right now if you get it, you you, you won't you won't be ready to handle it. You can't handle it right now. You need some time. You need some time. You need some time. You need some time. And see, and see, you think you're ready. You think you're ready, but you're not. See, God blocks us. Oftentimes, God blocks us from from things that we try to doors that we try to kick down. We want it so bad. I want it. I want. It, I want. It. And then when God say no, then you get mad at God. Then you pout. Then you pout. And, and so, so so now what God gonna do about that? That's all you you pout all you want to, but God is gonna still be God. After you get through pouting, God will still be waiting, and He's gonna still want you to do what He called you to do. <laughs> yeah, you can pout all you want to. So what? You can't play no you can't play no mind games on God. You can't play no uh, no games with tricks with God. You can't you can't you can't treat God. <laughs> so um, but 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 this is what I want to say. This is what I want to say. Weeping may endure for a night. You need to understand that weeping, you're weeping, you're crying, all that. It, it do it for a night. It do only do it for a night. And I think that scripture is um, Psalms 30 and 5. And so you need to know that God's mercy, God, God, anger is but for a moment. But his love and his mercy is everlasting for a lifetime. And so so you need to know that your weeping, it may, it may have endured. You might have been crying a lot. You might, might have been crying in the morning. A lot of times in the morning, you cry a lot when you misunderstood a lot. To cool. See, because you ask for wisdom. And when you ask for wisdom, you ask for rejection. You ask for um, people to uh, punish you. People to torment you because of what they don't know. Or just, it's just it's, it is what it is. Solomon said, and, and wisdom is what Solomon. You're going to be let down a lot. You're going to be disappointed or not. You're going to be hurt a lot. See, but in that, you got to pick up the pieces. See, that's where your development, that's where your growth is at, is when the trouble happens. When the disappointment happens. When the hurt happens. When the abandonment happens. When the molestation happens. When all of that happens, see, that's, this is where the growth comes in at. Because the growth comes in at when God can put the piece together, is when everything in our lives and your life has been scattered and messed up. When everything in our lives and your life has been scattered and messed up, then this is a that's a great opportunity that God can come in and fix it. 
He can fix it. He can fix it. And see, see what the thing that you need to realize and understand about God, he's a gentleman. God is a gentleman. And see, God ain't going to force himself. He ain't going to force himself on you. Now, I know some people might, so I know now you might do it, but, but he won't force himself. He's a gentleman. He won't gentleman. He wait on you. That's why he said, ax. He didn't say, you, you got to do it. He said, ax. And it shall be given. And, and a lot of times, a lot of times, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know how it is in just a life or in a relationship where uh, you, you're with the person that you love, but you get mad at them, right? You get mad at them because they did something that you assume that they, that they should have knew that uh, it was wrong or you didn't like it. And so instead of saying something, you just have a little body language. Just let them know your displeasure. Just let them know. <clears throat> you ain't think about me. You ain't think about my feelings. You ain't think about none of that. And so, so that's, how, that's, how, that's, how, that's how many of you are with God. You pout them. You pout them. So, so you want God to chase you out of you now? <laughs> you, one of the things we need to know is uh, you need to know is that God is not a man. He's not a man. He's God. And the truth of the matter is he can do what he want to do because he's God. He swore by his own blood. He swore by his own oath. He's God. And so, um, and so it would behoove us, it would behoove you to um, stop pouting, stop bickering, prodigal son, prodigal daughter, and come to yourself. Remember your father's house and stop pouting and return. Return back to God. Return back to doing what's right. Return back to treating people right because the Bible said, to him that knows to do right, to that person that knows to do right and don't do it. If you know to do right. And so, because when you know to do right, that's a responsibility there. That's a charge that when you know to do right. See, because also, and knowing, the Bible says, as much is given, much is required. So whatever you learn or whatever you discover or whatever you come into the knowledge of, once you come into the knowledge of it, you held accountable for it. I, I, you know, I had to let you know. Once you know, you know. And then if you know and don't do the Bible says, I think the Bible says that the one that is, is knows a little will be beaten with a little stripes. But the person that knows a lot or much is going to be chastised with many stripes. So much is given, much is required. And you, you can't play like and you can't play like you, you, you forgot. You can't remember. You just need to know that who, who created your mind? Who created you? So, it's a matter of commitment, and and this is this is the biggest problem. This is the biggest problem that that in this era that we live in, that many people they just don't want to have commitment. They don't want to be tired. They they want to just do what they want to do and just be just go when they want to go, like the wind. Well, the rest of the wind blowing, they want to go in there. They want to have no rules, no regulation, no be counted. Nobody wants to submit no kind of authority, and that's bad right there. When a person can't submit to authority, then that, that's a spirit right there. That, that's rebellion right there. When you can't submit, when you can't submit to authority, that's rebellion right there. That's witchcraft. Because the Bible says rebellion is as the, the sin of witchcraft. When you're bucking against what God has said in this word, then you're going against God. And then that becomes a spirit. I don't know if you knew that. That becomes a spirit. That's another thing I want to say. That's another thing I want to say. That's another thing I want to say. In, in, this, in the midst, in the sense of the spirit, in the sense of spirits, anything that we do, and anything that uh, we do every day, as far as things that we, we like to do, maybe we drink water, maybe we drink coke, we eat chips, we eat some type of food. You know, some of you might smoke cigarettes, you might smoke, uh, do other stuff, drink. And the thing about it, anything. 
that you do that it get to a point where you can't control it, it becomes an addiction. Anything that you do, when you get to a point where you can't control it, it becomes a stronghold, it becomes an addiction, and it can take on demonic forms. Just like when a person who cries a lot, there's nothing wrong with crying. Crying is a, a way to express what's in your heart. But if a person's always given to crying, if a person's always given to complaining, if a person's always given to crying, uh, doing a certain thing, then, and without control, un uncontrollably, where it feels like they can't help themselves, that's a demon. That's a spirit. And that's a spirit that's a stronghold you need to be delivered. Because tears can take on the demon. It can take on demonic forms. Certain sounds, certain cries. There are certain sounds, there are certain cries uh, that has a, there's a demonic note. There's like even tongues. The, the, the enemy that said he mimics everything. There's a, there's a tongue. There's a demonic tongue. There's a demonic language. There's a demonic movement. There's a, and see the thing about it, when you know God, when Jesus said, man, she's no voice. And he tells us that we know a tree by the fruit of God. And so when, when you love God and when you've been raised by God, when you know God and we know how God moves, you know what doesn't move like God. And when you know what God sounds like, then you know what don't sound like God. What doesn't look like God. <laughs> and, and when something is just out the, out, out, out the normal or just out the counsel of God, then you know something is wrong. So uh, just know that don't let nothing control you. Because when something controls you, then it takes it take control of you. It's possessing you. If your emotions are controlling you, when you, if you feel like you can't control your emotion, your emotions are possessing you. When you feel like there's something that's happening and something takes place, when you feel like you got to respond, your emotion just goes off the the the, the, the hammer. It goes off the uh, it goes off the scene. It goes off the it, it goes off the it goes off the um, it just goes off the rail. Uncontrollable. Something's wrong with that. Something is wrong is that if you can't hold your peace. The Bible tells us to be swift to hear and slow to speak. There's a thing called temperance. If you don't have temperance, you need him. You need temperance. You need that spirit. Because self-control. The Bible said a person who's able to control their spirit is stronger than the mighty, mighty man in the city. And if you can't control your spirit, if you can't control your emotions when every time something happens and your emotions become a victim and you find yourself uh, be, be, becoming prey to that thing because of your emotions, then you're weak. You are emotionally weak and you need to be delivered. You need God to strengthen you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pray that God strengthen you, and even in your emotion. See, some of you, God, need to mature you. Mature your emotions. Your emotions are too immature. Just so you just, just, just fly off the handle at everything without thinking. Stop flying off the handle without thinking. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. At some point, at some point, the next time, just, just, just catch it. Catch it. And just stop going off the handle because you know what? You're not, you're not glorifying God. You're not edifying God. You're not at all. You're just blowing smoke. It's not the will of God. It's not the will of God to keep complaining. To keep, to keep complaining and, and murmuring. Actually, is against the will of God. And murmuring and complaining is the very thing that cut the, many of them out of God's kingdom. His promised land. Kill them. And so, and so complaining, God don't want to hear your complaints. God want to hear God want to hear, do you want to be made whole? He want to hear you cry, but he won't hear you complain. He want to hear what's in your heart, not what's in your frustration. He want to hear your heart, not your complaint. And so God bless you and good morning.